Hello there, so I'm here in this lovely stream, this part of this river and um, this is water obviously and do we understand what water is? To me it's like liquid crystal, contains information, is um, being recycled for many thousands and millions of years on this earth and it's been through many different bodies, different beings and it's what helps create life. Without water there is no life, everything is dry and has no flow and that's exactly what water is. It creates flow in the body, the little rivers and streams in our, in our veins, in our blood. It carries nutrients, it carries information and it helps keep us active, hydrated and replenish how we should be. So with no water at all there's a lot of um, you know health problems that occur if we don't have enough water and especially good quality water as well. So I'm not saying to come here and drink from this stream but it's important to have good quality clean water that's in your body. And have you noticed when you work out you probably sweat and that's because you have pores in your body that is your body is breathing. Your biggest organ on your body, your skin, is uh, it's basically it's recycling the water inside your body, outside your body all the time and it's lovely and warm here and yeah I you know, get a bit sweaty and it's basically my body doing its thing. So water is a very important um, nutrient that we need in our daily lives. First thing I do when I wake up in the morning is have a lot of water. It helps to hydrate my body, keep me properly active throughout the day and hydrated. And it's not just any water, as we probably know and maybe you're aware, it's having tap water which is really bad for us, it contains a lot of nasty chemicals, medicines that aren't properly filtered out through filters and filtration. Uh, for example, if, um, if any, any people are on any medication at all and uh, you go to the toilet, you pee, you go in the toilet, you flush and we don't think about where that water goes and when that water does go through a system either it's going for the sewage wort, it gets treated, it gets bleached, it gets filtered but not all the medicine is properly cleaned out from the water and um, this is why being in mountainous places <clears throat> this is why being in mountainous places uh, where there's uh, water, where there's streams especially when I was in Norway uh, back in 2013 and we were drinking from the snow melt from, directly from the mountain and that's been filtered out through rocks, through the mountains, through the valleys and comes to the direct source which is very very good, very very clean. With that it's been through many different rocks and um, other minerals in the rocks and being filtered. So if you are filtering your water be careful that it's completely squeaky clean because having squeaky clean water with no minerals in there isn't that great for you. Another thing is having proper oxygen in the water as well. So as you see here, uh, if you can see any of the water that's flowing in the stream, it's, it's turning, it's, it's rolling and it's like the water has been massaged almost in with uh, oxygen, with nutrients and although this isn't probably, I don't know the direct source of this uh, water and where it's going but let's use this stream as an example where in this area there's been raining a lot the last sort of past week and so a lot of this water has come from, I'm sure, from the volcanoes, from the mountains here in Costa Rica and it's going to a direct source and so with that it's, it's taken all sorts of life with it. If you uh, ever sit by a stream you see many different wildlife that's benefiting from the water itself and we should follow nature as intended, you know, we should be doing something very, very similar, very the same and if there's a good quality water source near you then look it up, there's a good uh, website called finderspring.com where you can find your local uh, spring uh, but don't just trust it straight away, make sure you get it tested and know what you're doing. But the best thing is to make your own filter, filter, filtration system yourself by um, purchasing a good quality fil filter but also making sure it's vortex as well where it's, you're shaking it awake. So water that's been sat for months, for years on its own it's basically dead water, it's um, to properly enter your cells properly you need good quality water where it's been, it's been shaken, it's been woken up. If you're drinking dead water that's in a bottle 
I, I sometimes forget, but when I have a bottle of water, I try and shake it. And what that does, just helps to reawaken the water a little bit. Probably not to the full extent as uh, natural, but it's better than it just being sat and being dead water. If you look at any natural spring, it's bubbling, it's turning, and that's exactly what's going on in our bodies. It's been fil filtered, it's been utilized, it's been carried out. And another important thing to remember about water, that if you're drinking water, what, com what comes out should be quite clear. If you're peeing out and it's quite like dense, it's quite dark in color, that means you're quite dehydrated. So that's not very good. So I'll leave you with those thoughts. This is about water and water is part of life, very magical and there's abundance that we need. We need good quality water in our bodies. So I'm not gonna drink this now. Uh, I'd love to try it if it was natural and, and healthy. Again, I don't know the source of this water. Just came for a little walk and saw uh, this area look quite nice. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll speak to you soon.